You are watching this video because you got a screw loose. <laughs> Seriously, if the screws on your furniture or the hardware on your furniture have loose screws and they can't seem to tighten, I've got just a couple ideas for you. You are watching this video because the knobs on your dresser are loose and you'd like them to be tighter like this one or like this one. Well, I'll show you a quick little trick that you can do to keep that knob from spinning. Simply remove the drawer to a surface where you can work and get in there with a screwdriver and remove that screw and take this knob to the hardware store along with the screw. Once you have loosened the screw you're going to remove the hardware piece and then also take that screw with you. Inspect the threads of the screw to make sure that they are not cross-threaded or stripped. If they look healthy, then the next step is to put that into here and see how far it goes in. Perhaps the other problem is you simply have a screw that's too long. That's my case, where the wood is not that thick. So that's where I could use these washers to put onto the screw since the screw is in good shape and the hardware is also in good shape, neither of which are stripped. And that will help fill that gap. Get plenty of washers, they're very cheap to purchase. If your thread is stripped, then buy new hardware. You can find washers like this, and you can fill the gap, or maybe even buy a new screw, or worst case scenario, just buy new hardware. Because maybe the hardware has uh, threads that are stripped. So there's, there's a couple of easy ways. Basically, just remove it and go to the hardware store. And uh, if the screw is stripped in the head of your hardware, maybe you can find matching hardware. And perhaps you can find hardware that's not so worn out. I like this hardware because it has the patina that I'm looking for. So I'm going to keep this hardware for my drawer. Quite honestly, if you are falling that you're strapped for time and you don't want to run to the hardware store and find washers, which really doesn't take that long. Um, but if, if you're strapped for time, you can actually use any material you want to, like a chunk of cardboard. Poke a hole through it and just, this is a thicker piece of paper, and uh, just fill that gap simply with something like cardboard or paper. And then that will hold tight. The very best thing you can do is purchase a lock washer, which looks like this. It looks like it's, a lock washer actually looks like it's broken. But when you tighten that down, it locks the screw in place so that the screw will not back out. So the lock washer is the very best thing that you can do to uh, fix your hardware on your dresser. Now I'm going to reinstall this screw and make sure that it's tight. Make it tight, but not too tight so that you don't strip the new hardware or the new screw. Now, look at that. That filled the gap enough to get that screw tight, but yet not have the length of the screw reach the end on the inside. And now that knob is good and secure. And there you have it. This is nice and tight. That will never get loose again, which I find that to be very encouraging because I hate loose knobs on my dresser. It bothers me every morning when I get dressed. Here is an additional tip. Anytime you're at a garage sale and you see a box of junk like this, maybe buy it and keep it in your garage just so that you have little tidbits to work with. And uh, it, the nice thing about that is you have a lot of options of parts to use. The other option that you have is anytime you buy something new and it has extra hardware that you didn't need, put it in a junk drawer like this. Try and categorize things like these are small screws and these are metal screws. And I also have washers sitting in there and bolts. And quite often I reach in and use these and it saves me a trip from having to run to the hardware store. And then I always have the parts that I need on hand. But it just depends on how much room or how much storage you want to have in your garage. And this doesn't take much room, but I use this kind of stuff all the time. In fact, I grabbed one of these nuts and I put it on this screw and now you can see the nut fits the screw perfectly and now I can twist this side to the tightness that I want and it always self adjusts just by simply giving it a twist and now it's tighter than it's ever been and this is how I can repurpose used furniture and make it look good in my home and make
make it very functional. Someone probably threw this away just because of the small adjustments that I just did that make it like it's new again. I appreciate your comments down below, whether they be more ideas, we do need more ideas, because the ideas I showed you, there were just a couple of things that works for me, but you might have some great ideas. And I know the number one idea that's gonna be written down below is get the right size hardware. Well, there's that, but if you have the exact type of knob that's usually collectible or hard to find, but then it doesn't always fit your furniture because sometimes that furniture is too thin. So you can use different ways of quickly fixing that loose knob, but don't live with loose knobs. I'm a loose knob. Nobody lives with me. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, your comments are appreciated and give us thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks for watching Frosty Light.